Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to discuss hybridization of nitrogen. Now we have already discussed the hybridization of carbon in alkanes, alkenes and alkynes like sp3, sp2 and sp hybridization of carbon. But in this video we will be focusing on the hybridization of nitrogen. You know nitrogen also undergoes all these hybridizations sp3, sp2 and sp and depending on uh, which other atoms it is going to combine with it decides that uh, whether it will go for sp3 or sp2 or sp so in this video we will learn everything about nitrogen so let's start from the electronic configuration of nitrogen like we usually do for carbon also so you know the atomic number of nitrogen is a uh, 7 so obviously the configuration becomes 1 is 2 2s2 and 2p3 2 plus 2 4 plus 3 7 now i'll draw the block diagram and it is actually very important to draw this because then you get you know very accurate understanding of concept so this is how we are going to draw 1 2 and 3 so if you look at the electronic configuration you will uh, obviously understand that first shell is not going to participate in bond formation uh, the second shell will be the valency shell which will be ultimately participating in bond formation now look at the configuration of valency shell there are two electrons in 2s and three unpaired electrons in 2p one in 2px in 2py and one in 2pz now uh, let's discuss the compounds of nitrogen where we will uh, you know find sp3 sp2 or sp hybridization of nitrogen so let's take an example of say ammonia now we know the structure of ammonia is nh3 here nitrogen is bonded to three other atoms three other hydrogen atoms now usually what we do for carbon is if the carbon is bonding to other four atoms then we go for sp3 but in case of nitrogen we have to go for sp3 when nitrogen is bonding to other three atoms i will tell you the reason why now uh, this is the ground state configuration now what we do for carbon is we go for excited state configuration because the 2pz orbital is empty so we promote one of the electrons from 2s to 2pz which which is empty and then we get four unpaired electrons but here that is not the case nobody is empty and you already have a completely filled orbital in 2p 2s so now what we do is we directly go for hybridization in nitrogen so when i say that nitrogen is in sp3 hybridized state it means it involves one 2s and three of the 2p orbitals to form sp3 hybrid orbitals so the hybrid orbitals sp3 orbitals will look like this one two three and four hmm? four equal energy equal shape orbitals which are formed using one 2s and three 2p uh, orbitals of nitrogen and then the electronic configuration of hybrid orbitals will also be like this now look at the hybrid orbital configuration already one of the orbital is completely filled so it is not going to participate in bond formation as such so uh, as there are four hybrid orbitals the geometry will be regular tetrahedral like uh, in methane we have regular tetrahedral geometry for carbon similarly for nitrogen also we will have regular tetrahedral geometry but in carbon all four were having four unpaired electrons as opposed to that nitrogen contains a lone pair in this so lone pair bond pair repulsions will be more so it will be a bulkier orbital than these three so it will automatically push these orbitals down slightly so this part of the molecule will be slightly compressed and so the regular tetrahedral angle in methane is 109.5 degrees it reduces down to 107 degrees for nitrogen this is for carbon this is for nitrogen so now this is the 
arrangement which we will be using for conformation so now it becomes obvious that if this is the arrangement this lone pair containing hybrid orbital is already filled and three orbitals are half filled those three orbitals will actually uh, be forming bonds with these three hydrogens by forming sigma bond like this like this so this is going to be a sigma bond for three hydrogens so this is how this nitrogen and these three hydrogens will form sigma bonds to form ammonia molecule and i have also explained that why the bond angle in ammonia is less than the bond angle in methane even if both carbon and nitrogens are undergoing sp3 hybridization yes i hope this is understood sp3 hybridization now let's discuss what are the conditions in which nitrogen undergoes sp2 hybridization now for sp2 hybridization let us take an example of say imine where i will i will take a very simple example ch2 double bond nh now look at the molecule you will come to know that nitrogen has attached to carbon and hydrogen yes so two other atoms now when carbon has to form only two other bonds why it would go for sp3 hybridization no it will go for sp2 hybridization now how the sp2 hybridization will be uh, taking place for nitrogen simple 1 2s see here in sp2 we will get three equal energy hybrid orbitals so 1 2s which all which is already having two electrons and 2 2p orbitals so this is going to be the sp2 hybrid orbitals don't forget this one so this is going to be there empty 2 p z and these are sp2 hybrid orbitals these are sp3 hybrid orbitals okay so in sp2 you'll have this hybrid uh, orbital and then this empty 2 p z now in sp2 we know the geometry the geometry will be trigonal planar now uh, how we are going to draw it let's draw the orbital diagram for this imine ch2 double bond nh now look at this carbon is bonded to two hydrogens and one nitrogen so three other atoms it means carbon also is in sp2 hybridized state when carbon is in sp2 hybridized state it also has trigonal planar geometry along with one unhybridized 2p z orbital extending above and below the plane of hybrid orbitals similarly for nitrogen also will be having this lone pair containing orbital here away from uh, those two these two will be one here and one will say here these three and then we'll have this empty or empty not empty unhybridized 2p z orbital extending above and below the plane now as one of these will have this lone pair we have to show that lone pair here here one unpaired electron is present and one unpaired electron is present here similarly for carbon also this is carbon's electron this is carbon's electron this is carbon's electron now as you can see in this structure this carbon nitrogen bond one of the carbon nitrogen bond is a sigma bond formed by axial overlap of sp2 of carbon and sp2 of nitrogen this is your carbon this is your nitrogen both sp2 hybrid orbitals are overlapping axially to form a sigma bond so one of the bond is sigma bond now these two hydrogens will be formed by again axial overlap of sp2 of carbon and s of hydrogen sigma bond similarly for this also s of hydrogen sp2 of carbon sigma bond and this hydrogen will be again forming a sigma bond with this nitrogen using sp2 of nitrogen and s of hydrogen again sigma bond so these two and this this one these three hydrogens are attached with sigma bonds carbon nitrogen are attached with one sigma bond now pay attention carbon also has one unhybridized pz orbital and nitrogen also has unhybridized pz orbitals now both are pz so their uh, directions are you know aligned and that is the reason they can form a pi bond with each other 
सो सेकेंड बॉन्ड ऑफ दिस कार्बन नाइट्रोजन डबल बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू बी अ पाई बॉन्ड सो दिस इज वॉट विल बी द ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम फॉर इमाइन वेयर नाइट्रोजन इज इन एस पी टू हाइड्रिटाइज स्टेट नो लेट्स गो अ लिटिल बिट फर्दर एंड डिस्कस द मॉलिक्यूल वेयर नाइट्रोजन इज इन इट्स एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन मीन्स ओनली टू एस एंड वन ऑफ द टू पी एक्स विल बी इन्वॉल्व इन द हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल फॉर्मेशन सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट एस पी ऑर्बिटल फॉर्मेशन और एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन देन वॉट विल बी द हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल्स ओनली टू ऑफ दम वन टू एस एंड वन ऑफ द टू पी विच इज पी एक्स so this is going to be sp hybrid orbitals and 2py and 2pz will be left unhybridized so this is going to be my 2py this is going to be my 2pz so this is the hybridization sp hybridization for nitrogen now let's discuss uh, the formation of say a formaldehyde molecule you know formaldehyde molecule how the structure is hcn uh, uh not formaldehyde sorry hydrogen cyanide molecule so hcn hmm? so in hydrogen cyanide carbon as you can see is bonded to two other atoms when carbon is bonded to two other atoms it is in its sp hybridization state so in sp carbon looks like this two orbitals at 180 and uh, uh, you know uh, two unhybridized py and pz extending perpendicular to the plane of the hybrid orbitals now this is carbon this is my carbon and now let's draw nitrogen now in nitrogen we are talking about sp so only two orbitals will be there one of them will be having the lone pair and another one will be forming a sigma bond with carbon so this is how our nitrogen is going to look but don't forget this 2py and 2pz so we will draw that 2py and 2pz simple so this carbon and this is my nitrogen and how they are forming bonds this carbon will form a sigma bond with hydrogen here so what will be the bond character sp of carbon and s of hydrogen what is going to be the uh, bond character of carbon nitrogen there are triple bonds right there are three bonds out of those three only one is going to be a sigma bond formed by axial overlap of sp of carbon and sp of nitrogen what about other two this is my say 2py of carbon and this is my 2py of nitrogen as they are properly aligned the axes are same then they will form pi bond with each other so this is going to be one of the pi bond 2py 2py of both of them and 2pz 2pz of both of them they will also going to form a pi bond so, like this so 2pz 2pz will form a pi bond and 2py 2py will form another pi bond so in a triple bond one bond is going to be a sigma bond and another two bonds are going to be pi bond and which will be formed by unhybridized p orbitals so this is how sp3 sp2 and sp hybridization of nitrogen happens and depending on the molecule you are studying or depending on the atoms with which nitrogen is bonding it decides for himself that whether it will be in sp3 tetrahedral or sp2 trigonal planar or sp lateral okay so this is how hybridization of nitrogen looks like i hope you have understood and stay tuned for next video where we will discuss hybridization in oxygen and you know what oxygen does not undergo sp hybridization what is the reason let's find out in the next video till then you take care bye bye